uh, muscle invasive bladder cancer are presented with a very difficult choice. They have to decide whether to either have their bladder removed or whether to have a radiotherapy based treatment and that can sometimes include chemotherapy. It's an incredibly difficult choice to make and it's, an, it's actually a life changing event for them. What we want to do here in the laboratory is to help them make that decision and if we could identify a protein that would allow us to say you'll do better with the radiotherapy based treatment or you'll do better with the surgery based treatment this would actually add confidence to their decision making process. So one of the easiest forms of tests that we can do, which ultimately could be done in the National Health Service, is that we can actually look at proteins from slides taken from patients' bladder tumours. And um, this is where citizen scientists come in, because this is quite a time-consuming process. But basically the citizen scientists are doing exactly the same thing as we're doing. They're determining um, whether there's tumour cells in the sample, of the tumour cells, how many of them are actually stained up for the protein, and then how intensely are the stains? So is it a really strong stain or is it quite weak or is it somewhere in the middle? And so by bringing their expertise to this project, we have thousands of people all giving their opinion on these scores. And this allows us to build up a big picture on a lot of proteins. So the contribution of citizen scientists to this project is really fantastic for us because it's allowing us to be able to look at far more uh, samples and far more proteins than we'd ever be able to do here in the lab. So I think the impact of this citizen science project on our research is that it's going to help us to identify uh, these proteins that will ultimately help patients because the test should predict who's going to do better with one treatment or other, it should actually increase the chances of them surviving from their bladder cancer. And that's why to me this is such an exciting venture to be able to use citizen scientists to score our samples.